Hello there. Yesterday Bethesda updated PTS and as we know there will be no explosive mod for Paper Shaker. But there will be this bug probably. Get ready. I have tested them quite a lot and could try them solo versus bosses in the game. Let me show you my solo run versus ship squash imposter. With adrenal reaction the damage looks like this, but I have to heal my reds to be able to solo this event. I need only one steam pack, but have four just in case. With 99 ballistic and 18 energy damage I still can kill stuff, so full health builds, no worries. What does matter is the range, it sucks, so you need to get closer. At this distance everything dies fast. You see? Let's start the event. One more time. I want to point out that you won't be able to do a lot of damage if you keep distance. The damage outcome is divided into 6 rays if you go with Hex Barrel. And originally this Pepper Shaker is a heavy shotgun, so maybe every ray is divided as well. I mean it's divided into something else. At this distance I do 6 times 11 damage and with fire rate it gives me roughly 90 damage per second. Of course she resists because her shield is so strong, but not for long. If finally Bethesda will fix the reality of damage numbers, you can multiply it by 6 in this case and have a proper picture. Of course it depends on body part you are shooting at, but you get the idea. Okie dokie, time for the action. I take always the same route to activate this balance. Faster I do it, faster the imposter starts to heal me with her holy moly beam of death. So strange that Bethesda still didn't change it, but I'm happy. Heal me up, baby. Where are you? Now damage is way higher. I mean, it is pretty obvious that the damage numbers are different with the distance and where you should add. You will notice this more, dealing with mini hulks or just common mobs. The worst part about Pepper Shaker is the amount of pepper. 50 is crazy low. Quad explosive would be a nice roll. I wouldn't name it energy explosive killer, but pretty much close. By the way, background sound was a killer for my ears and it was kinda a big issue for my mental health. Thank God it lasted only 2 minutes, then I got into complete silence and once in 2 minutes it appeared for a millisecond or kinda like this, remembering this very event. Imagine killing green stuff in Vestek and hearing Gatsis uh, and this imposter creature or whatever you can hear during this event. Ok, I almost done here. The first encrypted fight with one steam pack wasn't solo solo, but 23 level ally didn't do a lot. One time I soloed the event with no steam packs. So now it's kinda possible, but anyway Pepper Shaker isn't a dream weapon because of reduced range. And amount of pepper, please give us more pepper. Here it is, the hero of the video. Nothing special, just vampire roll. Speaking of mods, I installed Hex Barrel because it gives the best DPS. Laser Magazine because I had more fusion cells on my mule. And I wanted to compare explosive with no explosive, of course. And Gunner Sight because I need to aim. The process to make it legendary looks like this and it was my very first roll I've decided to try. Prepare to grind, it will be painful for some of us. And here we go. What's important, pepper shakers are droppable and tradable and watch out. If you go to PTS, there is a possibility to craft under level gear. Let me show you. Let's craft one. Here we go. Nothing to be worried about, still. And if you want to craft a whole bunch of them, check the level your weapons will have. Before, press craft button. You see? 
level 35. <laughs> it happens. Well, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.